Renton's church was the most difficult and time-consuming build on the layout. It's based on the one at Finchingfield in Essex, though I did have to reduce its size somewhat. It's made an appearance on the cover of this issue at the Engage Society's journal, and that gave me the idea for this video, shots with the church in the background. The picture on the cover shows a J39 passing by with a train of assorted vans. So here it is again in a wider view. The BR4MT passes with some grain wagons. And here's a B-17 with some Gresley coaches. More trains soon. This is the real church. I had several photos to work with and also a ground plan. To reduce the size of the building, I shortened both the nave and the chancel and also reduced the overall size by about 10%. I made lots of card mock-ups before I was happy that I knew how to make the model, final construction taking about seven weeks. I used methods similar to those I've described in my Cottage for Renton video, making line drawings in Photoshop for each part of the building. The printed stone texture was developed from one of the photos of the real church. Here's how a wall of the nave looked. Some brick courses were added, as in the original, and the stonework around the windows was marked in. The same line drawings were used in the software that drives my silhouette cutting machine. The walls are made from two pieces of 20 thou plasticard, the inner layer having the tracery of the windows cut into it. The building actually has ten different styles of window. This is the assembled nave. There's black paper behind the windows and a balsa wood lining adds strength. Once all the various parts of the building were assembled and the buttresses added, I took some photos before installing it on the layout. Back to the trains. And first, a B1 with some Mark I coaches. And they're followed by an XWD with a freight train. A four-class Bitten heads north. And finally, a BR3MT going south and passing a class 24 with a pickup goods. 